Um, Miss Sherry has no internet. I wonder if her power's out. I don't know that about that. I just think um, her internet's out. I posted to the Google Classroom like uh, everyone go to John Zoom meeting today. <laughs> yeah, so we're kind of doing a last minute thing. Um, yeah, you guys should have got a journal prompt. Uh, let me check. Yeah, go ahead yeah. and check your email. <clears throat> Oops. Wait, she sent it through the emails? Yeah. Uh, it should be in Google Classroom. <laughs> Do you... Who has it? I do. Okay. She, I think she sent it like two minutes ago. I'm on the wrong email. There, I found it. Okay. I don't know what you were doing that for. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Jonathan. I met Jonathan. Thanks, here. He's always one minute late. Yeah. Literally one minute. <laughs> okay, so I just opened it. Is this Jonathan? The hello. Hello. Okay. Would you like to read? Would somebody like to read the journal prompt? Oh, everyone's like in it. Goodness. <laughs> everyone's in here. I'll read it. No, no one's okay. no, not. I only like see like two or four people in here. Well, everyone True. is supposed to be. Describe a very stormy day. Talk about what things happened or didn't happen. Okay. That's a, that's a tough one. <laughs> So she wants you to be, you guys, to be descriptive when you're writing, okay? Mm -hmm. So this journal prompt is kind of a creative writing exercise. It's like, you know, you want your, you want it to start out. You're describing the storm, right? Like, what does the storm do? What is the storm doing outside? Um, are the trees, are the trees blowing, right? Um, mm -hmm. What noise is the is the storm making? Oh goodness! Uh, so this is like your opportunity to be very creative, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the storm was outside. It was doing. You describe it, okay? And then also um, describe what you did inside, right? So I think. Uh, I think you can take creative liberty with this. Um, um, or you can think of the other day. What did you do? When it was honestly, started, right? I can't be creative with that. You can't be creative? Because what I always do is I open the door. It's like, whoa, it's pretty windy and rainy outside. I close the door, go back to my room, and just do my day. Did your power right, go out? But, <clears throat> so this is... This is partly fiction, okay? Right? I mean, when you when you open the door, what was the storm doing? Just, it's not really doing anything. Just the house is flying away. Yeah, think of all the sounds. You know, like, think of, put yourself in that situation right now, right? But so you're hearing fine. things? I'm an, off, I'm an honest guy. I can't, like, make something up. Hey, you're Royce. not making it up. You're picking up on your surroundings, right? Your environments. And but, uh, just a second, Andrew. And so then you're, you know, you're hearing things, right? You're hearing the branches banging up against the side of your house. You're not seeing really. the wind blowing the leaves. You know what I mean? These are all things that you can incorporate into your journal prompt. Go ahead, Andrew. Hey, Royce, did your power go out at all? Well, it did go on at 12 midnight, but I didn't notice that. 
Mm. You could put that down at least. I gotta put something down every day. Experience it. That's funny. We I experienced it last night. Oh, actually no, not last night. Uh, yesterday night. Then all yes, all of yesterday until up till like three o'clock. <laughs> Stefan's typing on the document. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Must have shared it with him in the Google Docs. I made a copy of it. So did I. <clears throat> Do you guys who, raise your hand if you're struggling with this? I could probably think of something. Okay. All right. I'm already going so, along um, with it. <laughs> we're going to work on that. And then um, you guys have any, if you guys have struggles with it, you can meet with me one-on-one -on -one after the meeting, okay? Okay. <laughs> so let's start with the first sentence, okay, guys? You guys are going to be describing the, the storm, right? Jonathan. Yeah. You know what we're doing? A star? You're gonna write about a storm, okay? Do you have? Are you prepared to write? You got your notebook? Do you have your notebook? Oh, we're doing it like together. Well, I mean, we have to spend like an hour, right? Okay. Well, I'm gonna type so. mine on the document. Yeah. yeah. I'm already doing that, Tyler. <laughs> okay, so you guys are doing okay. So Royce, do you need help with this? I mean, I only can tell the truth. That's all I need to do. Okay, well, tell the truth, and then you can add stuff to that. So why don't you type what you want, and then we'll look at it after you're done. Okay, Jonathan, do you got your you got your notepad? Nice I need you to answer me, buddy. You got your notepad? Yes or no? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh. Okay, go get it. <laughs> I'm like... It's like, um, yeah, I have it. Oh, wait, no, I don't. <laughs> yeah. He has a TV in the background. Yeah. <laughs> and I have that in my background. You got some deer. You got mm -hmm. a buck and a doe. And there's also a house in the background of it. You know, like right That's there. Awesome. That's nice. That's nice, peaceful scenery there. The birds, like right up. Yeah, Where's that? Nebraska? Out. Montana? I don't know. Yeah, so actually, so your journal prompt is going to be like you're painting a picture, right? You're yeah. painting a picture oh, with words. Why'd you have to make it that way? You can only type with text with you. <laughs> hmm? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andy. Okay, Andrew, are you focusing right now? Yes. Okay. My headphones want to keep falling off my face. <laughs> oh man, you got a skinny head then. Be quiet. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm just joking with you. These figures. You guys good? So, so far, I mean, I'm good. You're going to start out in the beginning. You're going to describe the storm. The storm. There's one very famous author, I think, he said the storm was ominous. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. The storm was aggressive outside. From my room, I could hear the sounds of tree branches breaking. You know what I mean? Just to give you kind of the vibe of it. That was creepy. 
<laughs> what? what? That noise. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. And that was my phone. I'm trying to figure out why there's only one. Where's all the other students? <laughs> it's just going to be you guys with me and then the rest with Yvonne. Oh, okay. So, John, you got my text, right? I did. Yeah, I'm very sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. Just got it. How about you focus on your story, and then I'll me and you can talk about it. Okay. Jonathan. Yeah. You know what we're doing? We're writing about a storm, okay? Hmm. So you're going to write It's a creative writing day So you're going to be writing about the storm Okay Jonathan do you know how to look at chat All right, Jonathan, look at your screen. You see the chat pop up? Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> you didn't say anything. OK, good. Jonathan, what did I write in the chat? Ah, yeah. What does it say? What's it say? John? Yeah. <laughs> um, do you mind if I grab my coat? Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, do you see the chat? Yeah. What does it say? <laughs> Good. I need you to tell me the word so that I know that you can see it. Okay. I'm not getting anything back from you. <laughs> I doubt. Uh, I... What's it say? So I can I know that you read it. All right, what does that word say? All right. <laughs> How kidding. Huh? Well, that's not going to work. All right. Yeah. If I send the word hi to you and you can't tell me what it says, then we'll try. <laughs> um, okay, Jonathan, you got your pen and the paper? Yeah. Okay, you're going to write about the storm that's outside, okay? Was. 
First, tell me, what is the storm? Lightning. There you go. Lightning. Yeah. Right, there was lightning. Is or was? <laughs> well, in the story, you're talking about a storm that's happening. Right? <laughs> <sighs> uh, too bad we don't live in Florida. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> Actually, tornadoes are very dangerous, and hurricanes are also dangerous, so you don't want that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. Aren't hurricanes no, more dangerous you. than tornadoes? It, there's, yeah. it varies. It depends. There's True. different sizes of the hurricanes. Hmm. Hurricanes are pretty crazy. Yeah. Hurricane Katrina? Gosh. That one yeah. time that in 2017, Hurricane Maria was horrible. Well, think about hurricanes and tornadoes. Like, a tornado can, like, mess up, like, a neighborhood, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But a hurricane can, like, destroy a whole city. Part of the state or city. Yeah. So. Yeah, hurricanes are devastating. It's like, whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot written down on mine. Oh, you did? You, would you like to share? Yeah, sure. Okay. Do you want me to just read it, or am I going to share my screen? Um, why don't you just read it? Okay. The storm outside was very loud because of the very fast wind, and the rain was coming down very heavily. During storms like these, I like to spend time outside and enjoy the gift that nature has given us. Although, <laughs> if the weather gets That's great. too dangerous, I shall stay inside. I find it boring to stay inside during a big storm because I feel that I am missing out on all of the awesome action outside. If my power and internet is out, is I mean, if my power and internet is still working, I will play Minecraft on my computer. If there is no power, I shall enjoy spending time with my family, like people did before electricity existed. Nice. No to have so far. Nice. <laughs> Wow, I'm blown away. <laughs> Do you mean? Well, we only blown have like away? another. <laughs> we only have like another hour to be just be <laughs> sitting here. So. Oh my gosh. Hey, that's very good. Hey, Devin, how are you doing? So funny. God. That's really how okay. I feel though about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. It's... I'll definitely be playing video games if I can. Uh, Royce, all... how are you doing with this? I'm going to go around everyone and ask them how they're doing. Fine. Are you typing? Yes. Okay. Uh, Devin, how are you? Good. Are you typing right now? Um, no, I'm just writing. Oh, okay. That's fine. Jonathan, what do you have? Do you have the lightning? The thunder rolls. It's like a Garth Brooks song. Oh, gosh. If Nathan were to be here, he would just start talking and talking and talking nonstop. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was supposed to be. Huh? Maybe his internet's out. Darn it, Tyler, you just made me thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm trying to think Thank of you. how we're going to... What? Say, are you working on your story? Yes, I am. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out um, how we're going to do DMV. Oh, yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. Well, Sherry hasn't said anything about that. So we, I, we talked. Me and Yvonne and Sherry talked on the phone. Oh. Okay. That works. Yeah. I was wondering why it took you guys a little while to answer my text. I'm like, um. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, let's do. Let's try not to talk for a little bit, okay? I will mute myself with my little remote here. Okay. <laughs> Jonathan. Yeah. What was. do you have? Did you write anything yet? Uh, yeah, you're not answering me. Yes or no? No. Do you see my chat, Jonathan? I uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Write that. Hey, okay. Bye. Oops. Open mic. If anybody wants to share what they have so far, you go ahead. What else, Jonathan, about a storm? It's probably huh? What falls oh. down from the sky in a storm? <clears throat> uh, rain? Oh. Yay, good job. I'm so happy you got that one. <laughs> Oh, if you guys lose me, uh, just log back in, okay? Yeah, it says remaining All time right. is nine minutes. Yeah. yeah. I'm not used to having a full class on here. It's usually, I only have 30-minute one-on-ones, huh. so. Um, you could perhaps uh, sign up to get the, the <laughs> unlimited mean? time. Yeah. yeah. Well, then my... My job will have to pay for that. <laughs> so I got to figure that out. 
might want to talk uh, to your boss about that. <laughs> yeah. I am not paying. I pay for enough stuff on my own. <laughs> there it is. Ugh. And you guys make sure to, uh, when you guys are done, you have to call Sherry to, uh, to tell her what you got. All right. What you wrote. Okay. I just got the text from her. That sounds good. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Please let me know if you guys are stuck or have any. I uh, need any help, okay? So, I'm able to send it, able to share it with you. Do you want us to send it to your Gmail or your step agency email? Um, I see Megan. Do my personal email. Your personal? Yeah. John Reed Linnell. Right. I'll share it with you. Okay, thank you. Why is it not showing the, the time for me? That's weird. I think I'm going to make my... This used to be my personal email, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my personal email my other work email or my project search email. Okay, here is my, if you guys don't have it, I put it in the chat. Oh. You should be able to get mine. <laughs> Jonathan says, oh. <laughs> don't write my email in, the, in your story, okay, Jonathan? That would be funny. <laughs> yeah. So, Jonathan, did you write what I put in the chat? Yeah. The rain was pouring down. Period. Uh, there. Mm -hmm. Very strong. All right, Jonathan, look at the chat because I'm tapping stuff, okay? I'll have you guys share what you have so far in a few minutes, okay? Okay. If we have a few minutes. <laughs> right. So after my Zoom shuts off, then I let you guys back in. <laughs> Hopefully my iPad will actually save the actually you know what? I'll probably copy it. Actually no, my iPad already saved it. Duh. <laughs> I have a bunch of random numbers on my nice buttons on this Bluetooth keyboard on on the iPad. <laughs> do mm -hmm. I don't know what they do. Don't touch anything. You might. You might. It might be like an ejector seat shoots you out. Of <laughs> it's like a, in a fire jet. Eject. <laughs> what is this button? 
We. <laughs> what is this button? Hmm? Whoops. <laughs> All right, Andrew. Let's do keep focusing, okay? Money. I know that I'm not Sherry, but hmm? I need you. I didn't. Do, I didn't do anything. Hmm. Kind of uh, being very silly. John, I'm. I'm finished. You're done? Yeah. I should have okay, done see. Three minutes. Would you like to read yours? Yes. Um, <clears throat> I wrote, um, it was too stormy and very windy at my home at 10 15 at midnight when the power went out. And sometimes I think it's okay when it's rainy. Just a, I stayed in my room when the power went out because it was very difficult to see. Um, for me and my mom, we all had flashlights so that we could see. Okay. That's all. That's very good. Remember to uh, talk about your activities in the house that you did, okay? Okay. So what did you do? It was rainy outside. It was a, there was a storm. But then what did you do inside? Did you watch a um, movie? Did you work on your assignment? It's kind of an idea. Um read my book with a flashlight oh read your book okay, yeah read your book with a flashlight okay good job thank you oh, you're, right, done, fine. You're, you're done completely done Andrew. <laughs> okay. Step on my on my screen. How did she change the order of the pictures? If you're not, you're not even. Uh, it's in gallery view. Yeah, but when you did that, you change. You did something in the. Even mine changed. <laughs> I'm not really sure how that works. It's probably because I, I pressed the home button t twice on accident, which turned off the camera. Oh, okay. It turned your camera off for a minute and then it re. Okay. Yeah. This iPad has too many tabs open, but yeah, it works really well. <laughs> Okay, Andrew, you want to share with us what you got? The storm was strong enough to bring some trees down on the power lines and creating a power outage. It was very rainy and windy. Okay. Uh, and I might add on to it later. Good. Well, you mean you should do it now because you have time to do it. Yeah, I know, I could use work. Well, well we're in uh, class right now, so you're going to have to do it now. True. <laughs> uh,
wind, windy. It rained real hard. I mean, I could hear thunderstorms a few times. I heard, I, I heard, I heard a tree fell to a couple of houses, like three or four doors down to my place, but I haven't seen it yet. And plus, if there ever was a power outage, I'll just use my backup video and games to keep me occupied. Hmm. That's great. Creative. That's very good. My power lasted, my, the power outage here in Carmichael lasted quite a while. I never had a power outage. Yeah? We, we had power outage. <laughs> so it's the one that has solar panels on their house. Well, I think we had. I think our power outage was when we were sleeping. So, I I noticed it. I noticed it for sure. Our heater when that is our heater was on all at, that is all during the night. Then all of a sudden, boom, it just shuts up, shut off. I'm like, okay, whatever. Power just yeah. went out. <clears throat> so yeah. I mean, I knew it was gonna come back on eventually. So I knew that ours went off probably like twelve thirty then at night. And then, uh, and then we were like, okay, let's go to bed now. <laughs> and then, and then um, I woke up in the middle of the night, power was still off. And then I think like eight o'clock, eight in the morning, it came back on. Not so for me. It's just like normal. Like you wake up, you turn, you know, there's no lights. You're sleeping, obviously. Yeah, so we apparently. Up, we woke up and it was uh, like eight o'clock in, in the morning. It was on, so. Didn't really miss anything. Huh. It's like your, it's like the um, power is like, hey, it's your bedtime. You gotta go out of bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I think it was my neighbor that did it. Just kidding. <laughs> Turned off my power. Hey, how dare you not? Well, of course, Jonathan's not here. <laughs> I hate, I knew that was gonna happen. Right when it ha right when the my screen turned off, I was like, oh, Jonathan's not gonna come back. <laughs> Jonathan's probably like, oh yeah, there's no Zoom meeting. <laughs> Let me call him. He's probably uh, confused. That's how my cat was when before we had to. I don't want to talk about it. I don't. All right. You are not muted. <laughs> Hi. Go ahead and get back on Zoom, okay? Okay. Bye. <laughs> you might have been just staring at a screen. They're like, uh, so, just have uh, to call him to... Yeah, you probably thought it was over. <laughs> Waiting for that blue button to pop up. Do 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 do. Andrew. What? I'm texting Jordan. There's Jonathan. Admit. What? That makes no sense at all. Hi, Jonathan. Yeah, I had headphones in yet. 
You're fitting your headphones again? There like you we go. Just started, like we just started the day, huh? Seems legit. Jonathan, what do you have so far? Can you can you hold it up to the screen so I can see it? Why does it sound like someone's phone is ringing? Don't know. All right. Oh. The thing in life was we gotta ignore sounds. Can I hold it up? I can't see it. Ah, uh, like that. The lightning was loud. The rain was pouring down. The wind was very strong. Good job. Uh, awesome. I'm so happy that you wrote that. Um, what else? Jonathan, what did you do in your house when it was raining? Well, first of all, you can write that you stayed inside, right? Ah. Uh. Well, I'm giving Jonathan some of the answers, but at least he's practicing his spelling and writing. Who did not share that would like to share? I think you guys all shared. Yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely still faking that it's, that they're frozen. <laughs> wow. It's almost, I can't believe it. it's 912. It's almost 830 or 930. <laughs> 830, what? <laughs> no. 830 night. If it was 830 and it had nothing, the cha time had not changed at all, that would suck. <laughs> <clears throat> Jonathan, also you got to use periods, okay? Okay. Hey, Jordan is not here. Hmm. I wonder why. She got, I think um, she um, kind of told her off yesterday, so. She was not with anyone. Oh, okay. I'm like jump on my Zoom right now. How are you doing, Jonathan? You good? Good. Okay. I can't believe Sherry has no internet still. 
Yeah, it's weird. Oh. Yeah. Something must have got blown over outside or something. Yeah. Everybody good? Yeah. Sorry, I'm in the middle of texting, Jordan. Take the way. <laughs> mm. Oh, oops. We got about 10 minutes. Um, so after the class, remember you guys need to call Sherry, okay? All right. At the same time. Well, why don't you, let's, let's assign times, okay? So. Uh, I can go first. I know I can go first. Or we could merge calls. <laughs> Let me ask her if she wants to do that. I mean, I can call pretty fast on my phone. That was one that texted really fast. I was kind of joking. You guys call her. Why don't one of you guys call her right now? Put her on speakerphone. Who wants to do that? I could do that. I, I, I okay. can't. Can I let Royce do it? He really wants to do it. <laughs> no, I can't. I, I literally can't. Oh, you can't. Okay, go ahead, Tyler. I'll do it. I mean, I'm only zooming my phone, so how can I speak on speaker phone if I, if I don't know how, know how to do that? Hi. Oh, it's no problem. Yeah. You done already? No, I, John told me to call you and put you on speaker phone for the Zoom meeting. Oh, hold, oh, hold on a second. Tell her that uh, I just thought it would be... It might be hard for everyone to call her at once. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. I thought maybe... Uh, if everyone just tells you their story, then it would be easier. Can you hear Sherry? Does that work for you? Hello? Hi, Sherry. Hello. What's up? Hi, I, well, I thought uh, I was going to tell everybody to call you, but I thought they would all call you at once. So. <laughs> um, no, because what I want them to do is call me to read me their prompts when they're done writing it. 
Okay, but I thought they were, I figured they would all call you right up. You would get be overwhelmed by all their phone calls all at once. So uh, no, because they got to do work. They shouldn't be finished with it yet. Every person's finished writing it. Well, uh, Tyler's finished with his, and I mean, like a nice journal pump, like they're like they've been writing. We've been writing. Yeah, we've been working on it this entire time. But yeah, okay. we can do that. Yeah. But I, mean, uh, I would be surprised if they did it that fast, but I guess that's okay. But they can just call me. Um, you can stagger the times or something. I mean, because I can hardly hear on here. Okay, we'll do that. Just we can give assign them, all the time. them. Okay. You know, call me like like ten minutes apart or something like that. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Um. Sounds All right, we'll do me. that. I look forward to hearing from all of you, but I want you to do a nice job. <laughs> okay. Thanks, yeah. Son. Yeah, no problem. I sent you a text, by the way, oh. with a picture. Okay, I guess you and I can fine. talk about that later. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's see. Jonathan, what do you have so far? Show me. I, I, oh, shoot. Did you fall asleep? No. Nah. You went, whoa. <laughs> okay, hold it up. Oh, damn. The lightning was loud. The rain was pouring down. The wind was very strong. I stayed. Wait, let's see. You wanted to write. It said I. It says I stayed to stayed. Wait, hold it up again. I'm still reading it. Hold it still. Oh my gosh. This is not going to let me read it, is it? I stayed here. So you want to write... Um, you might want to do that one over. I stayed inside to stay dry, okay? Uh, <clears throat> I stayed inside. Okay? So cross that out. What do you got, Jonathan? Are you writing? <laughs> I told you just cross that out and rewrite it. I stayed inside to stay dry, okay? I stayed inside to stay dry, okay? Okay. So our time is almost over. Um, so Royce, yours is good, but you might want to be a little more creative, okay? 
But I don't know mm-hmm. how to be creative. Like what what just happened? I don't. I just can't say, say oh there was like a big tornado or something like that. But all this does just stuff just happened. I'm just being honest and telling the truth. So, but um, yeah. So take all the things that are happening, right? So there's a storm outside. What kind of noise does the storm make? There's not really a storm outside. It's just they just now it's calm, I guess. I know, but we're the journal prompt is There was a storm. Right? Yeah, there was a storm. So <laughs> two days ago or yesterday there was a storm, right? Yeah, the wind was crazy. So, yeah. So you wanna be descriptive about it, okay? And when um, the power went out on the traffic lights, people were driving like crazy. Yeah, people who don't, they lose their minds because they don't know what to do. Yeah. But, um, you know, what does the wind sound like? You know, I mean, to me, it sounds like a howling. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like it's howling, right? Um, the tree branches are banging against the house. Right? Oh, I hate that whenever it happens. Uh, there were tree branches that fell in my yard, right? With a thud. A branch yeah. fell from a tree and landed in my yard with a thud. Or right? hit your house. I've seen I've seen that before, but it was even yeah. worse. Damaged the whole entire yeah. front of the house. Yeah. Um That's never good. The rain was tapping against my window. You know what I mean? You want to use like descriptive words like that. Um, I don't care. You can steal what I'm saying, too. Um, everyone was inside their houses. I stayed in my house, my warm house, to to take shelter from the wild storm outside. Wildlife's storm. No I'm kidding. <laughs> As I was laying in bed, I heard the wind. You know, we already talked about the wind. I, I put I put down, I put down. Um, I had to sleep in my mom and dad's bedroom. Oh, because are you scared? No, it's just the fact that there's two palm trees, and if one of those leaned towards the house and snapped, then oh, it could okay, end up yeah. right into my bedroom. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Does that make sense, Royce? I guess, but I know I'm only gonna say the truth that I stay in my house and I don't really see that much of uh, the outside. Do you have any windows in your house? I do, but I don't really look at pay attention to them. That's your only source of light. Yeah, but I usually cover them up. That sounds depressing. Well, I yeah, I, know. <laughs> I get it, Royce. You're a very real person. You're a very realistic person. Um, but this exercise has kind of kind of stretched your mind, and uh, you you know I know you have some artistic, uh, creative creativity inside of you, right? Only thing only th- things that that needs it, but just things that that literally just happened i don't well think of it this way if you're describing a storm to a deaf person right you would have to write down the sounds of the storm right like just think of how you would describe that you would write down the storm was loud the storm was howling you know um the wind was pushing. I could hear the wind pushing against my house. Um, and also, if you're going to, what if you're uh, describing something to a blind person, right? So you would tell them the storm looked. Um, you no, know, the the tree, the leaves fell into my yard. You know, like I don't have a yard. I know, but I'm. You know that I'm being creative right now, right? I know, but I'm a truthful, <laughs> realist, truthful guy. I, I mean, if I want to make story, if I want to make stories, she, she wants to make stories. But 
this is a journal prompt, but it's literally telling us what what happened or how would you describe it? And I'm just describing how well, I saw. I think this the moral of the story. I mean, the reason for the story is to tell us is to tell the story. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Devin. Um, it's nine thirty. Okay. All right, Royce. Uh, work on that a little bit, and then call Sherry. Okay. All so right. okay, guys, we got you. Guys need to. Who's gonna call Sherry first? Andrew, call her now. Tyler, call her at nine forty. Okay. Okay. Devin, call her at nine fifty. Got it. Okay. I think this is a meeting, real quick. Um, Royce, call her at ten o'clock. Okay. Got it? Okay. And then Jonathan. Okay. Yeah. I guess you're gonna call Sherry at nine uh ten ten, okay? Okay. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Call her at ten ten minutes after ten. Okay. Okay. So don't call her right now. Call her when it's ten o'clock. 10 minutes after 10 o'clock. Okay? Okay. All right, so guys. John... Hey. Did I not tell you? Uh, well, actually, never mind. Did I give you a time, Andrew? Yeah. Right okay. now. You guys good? Yep. Okay. Yep. See ya. Awesome. Hello again, John. Hey, John. Hey, how's everybody? I cannot hear you. Doing all right. You can't hear I was me? expecting you. Yeah, I know. Uh, I just talked to Sherry. And on. I asked her, like, so what now? And uh, I just, I just suggested that I could do the DMV meeting today. Okay. I am a driver, after all. Yeah. Makes sense. Every so, driver can do it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what adult can't drive these days? Me. Right? Well, some people can't. But... Oh, yeah, we're adults. Hey, where's Nathan? Okay. So there's, there's Nathan. Nathan. Oh, there is. What a minute. Hi, Nathan. Hi. He's not in his bedroom. Hey, Nathan. No. Wow, you're somewhere else. You have a different background today. Yeah, I'm actually in the room that I'll be using for the, uh, the, the, the presentation thingy. Oh, good. But I was in here earlier today because it was too dark for my room. Because if I was in my room, because the way my desk was facing and how it was set up, my uh, overhead light is like right in the middle of it. And if I turn it on, you'll basically be staring into like a shiny ball of light, which I don't want to do. <laughs> <with you> guys. <laughs> That's what I want. I don't know about you guys. I want to be staring into a shiny ball of light. So. Do you mean, ooh, shiny. Everyone is here. Can you guys think of anybody else that's not here? Uh, Jonathan. Is that uh, the only person I can think of? Is I John. think, Steph oh, Stefan, too. Mm -hmm. Does Stefan want to be in DMV? Not every, a, no, I don't think he did. Yeah. That was oh, Jonathan. Oh, no. is uh, Jordan here? Yeah, Jordan. she is. Yeah. Okay. The only person I could think of that we are missing. <laughs> Off the top of my head is Jonathan. I think it's just Jonathan right now. Yeah. Oh. I don't know why. I have a feeling about Eleanor, but I don't think she was there. Yeah. Well, Jonathan. Really no. Was. I didn't think that he was, but uh, that's fine. Eleanor isn't here for DMV. Let me call him real quick. Just fine. Put myself on mute for a second. Yay. Did any of you guys uh, miss Sherry yet for the journal prompt? <laughs> She wants me to do it after the DMV meeting. Oh, okay. Well, I tried calling her at least three times now. <laughs> I didn't Not call her at all yet, thankfully. I already called her and read her mind. Yeah, she probably is upset with me because Yvonne texted me saying, call her and tell her about your journal prompt. I was like, okay. So I, also, I don't think she meant three times, though. No, she didn't. Which I figure she was uh, busy with the students, so I'll wait like five to ten minutes, maybe fifteen. Because then I also emailed mine. Yeah. 
So that's what I did, because I'm like, it doesn't take that long to read a journal prompt. So I'll wait, I waited like 15 minutes and I'll try calling again and all three times I, uh, she was busy. So I was just like, you know what, I'll just go to DMV. I'm done with it. Okay. Good call. Yeah, because I basically didn't have anything to do, so I just really? suggested it. Um, okay, well, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's not John, it. it was funny. I scared myself because today when I joined Miss Yvonne's room for a morning session, my uh -huh. uh, my uh, Zoom was still in speaker view from when we did the one on one, and then she was super big and super loud, and it scared oh, me. Oh, yeah. Mine was too. I was like, what in the world? And then I had this like weird ticking noise. That's weird. Is the ticking noise still there? No, it's gone now. Good. It was funny because it like popped up when we would talk about like horror movies and like video games and stuff. And then when I left later on afterward, I came back up here. It was gone. Yeah. I was just like, what in the world? Maybe someone weird. was kicking your wall outside or something. <laughs> Maybe maybe it was the heartbeat because I killed somebody and I felt guilty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah, that story. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, I believe that. That's the story that I'm gonna believe. I paste I pasted them in my in a cement wall in my basement. You know that's that has happened before. Welcome to the real life of some people. Some people are just wacko and become serial killers. And well, now you can write a novel about that, right? Yeah, you can. Go under another name, though. Yeah. Okay, let's start. Let's who do wants it. to Who wants to read the first? Does anybody want to uh, read the uh, answer or the questions? Uh, sure. I'll read it. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> you may cross double yellow lines to pass another vehicle if the blank if the blank vehicle is in front of you moves to the right to let you pass. Yellow line next to your side of the road is broken. Yellow line next to the opposite side of the road is broken. I would say the um, second one. Yes, I would go with B also. Yes. Mm. Anybody else? B? I say B. All right, let's go with B. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. Somebody want to read this one? I'll read it. Okay. Packing your vehicle is A, always dangerous. B, dangerous if you have a helper. C, only dangerous if you're in large vehicles. Yeah. A, always dangerous because you don't know what's going to pop up behind you. Mm -hmm. I believe it's always dangerous too. Yeah. It's funny that it says dangerous if you have a helper. <laughs> I never know what that means. You do the opposite. <laughs> I mean, if your helper gets Always ran dangerous? over, then yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean, is that you could just suddenly be backing up, and then out of nowhere, a pedestrian just pops up out of nowhere, like they're a wizard or a witch or something. That's why it's always dangerous, right? Because anything can happen. It's just like, oh, yeah. hello. <laughs> okay, number three. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody want to read? I'll read. Okay. Before returning to your original lane after passing another vehicle, you should beep your horn, see both headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror, or flash your headlights. <laughs> you never want to beep that horn. No. I think the answer would be B. See both headlights of the pa past vehicle in your rear view mirror. Yeah. Yep. 
flash your headlights. Yeah. That's also not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Robe lights. Can you imagine? I mean, nobody knows what you're doing if you do that. I think I think mm-hmm. school buses have like strobe lights up top. <laughs> yeah, but they're out of, out of the view from the car, so that's a good thing. Yep. Any amount of alcohol in the blood may affect the driver's right of way privileges, judgment, and physical coordination. Knowledge. Knowledge. <laughs> no, I I think it's the second one. Physical coordination. Yeah. Uh, I agree with Tyler and Clad. Reason why is because we... Um, we did this already. We, yeah, yeah, we talked about this already, and it kind of makes sense when she explained it. Yeah. I mean, it could have been knowledge really if you drink, me. like, every day. Oh, uh, Jonathan's calling me. <laughs> Jonathan, hi. Oh, hey, Jonathan. We uh, well, we're doing their DMV class. Would you like to get on my Zoom? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'll see you in a second. Okay. okay. Bye. I thought Jonathan was supposed to be with Devon. No, Jonathan is usually here for DMV. He is, yeah. Well, all yeah, right. You know what? It doesn't matter. I don't think Yvonne has a class today. No, she doesn't. Well, she did it earlier, but not anymore. Yeah, yeah. Because like this that... is just me. I, I. Um, it's I'm just the John that... show. Yeah, it's, it's just... all about me. It's all about <laughs> me, guys. It's always about you. No I'm kidding. It is. I try to tell people that they don't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, I mean, today my head's been all messed up. And I'm like, oh, okay. Apparently, we are having a DMV class and i have to call miss sherry for the journal prompt yeah literally we just decided to do it and could i use the bathroom? it was the last moment yes you can tyler thank you you're welcome it was so last minute it threw me off <laughs> we will wait for tyler to get back that was funny good I idea was, I, I was just peacefully sitting there waiting to call miss sherry and out of nowhere it's <laughs> i look over it's john saying that we're doing dmv at 11 before he was like Okay, apparently we're doing DMV, and I'm still a little stressed because I have to call Miss Sherry because I got a text from Miss Yvonne telling me to go call Miss Sherry for the journal prompt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hey, Nathan, did you, Nathan. Yes. Did you mean you heard this? Yes. I'm My, back. Uh, buzzing phone. That was quick. Yeah. I was like, what? my ringtone sounds different. It sounds like a do 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 do. My actual um, ringtone when it's when the volume is on is uh, um, I think it's uh, if I remember correctly, I think it's "Levy" by Led Zeppelin. When the levy breaks by Led Zeppelin. Yeah, okay, can we just get back to the topic? Yeah, oh, Tyler's back. Yeah. Let's do a DMV. Tyler's back. Hey, back. To All the right. Subject. <laughs> You're about to make a left turn. You must signal continuously during the, the last blank feet before the turn. Um, C100. Yeah. I think so. Oh, this is Andrew's favorite sign. <laughs> ah, yes. A railroad sign. I love it. Uh, actually, railroad sign. Are we gonna agree? I think I just, I think I just said the answer. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> it's like whenever I well, see it, I can't help but say it because it's like I know what it is. Well, it's R R. So yeah. Plus, you've been on light rail like with me a long time ago, anyway. So light rail. Yeah, also, I see those every day, but I never actually see trains. The railroad <laughs> crossing. Also the. It's R and R. You can literally tell it's railroad. Yeah. Railroad. Oh, I railroad. think we got 100% on that section. Nice. Next section. Uh-huh. Let's go, team. Go ahead. Oh, I already did this, huh? This road sign means... Yeah, kind of samey. <laughs> yeah. Uh... 
drive only in the direction the arrow. Okay, I'm just gonna click it. This roadside means road rick ahead, of course. It's fast. Road zone ahead. Road zone ahead. I thought that was a stop sign. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following statements is correct? Use your left foot to break. Nope. Use your right foot. Breaky yep. mixer. You shall yes. break abruptly to ensure stopping. Let's go to uh, one. Hey, use your left foot to break. No. Well, that's good to know. I've never done that. Well, it's my mom's always told me it's <laughs> not really good to ride, ride your brakes while your other foot's on the accelerator, so... Yeah, no, what happens is that, like, it grinds out the brake pad. Yeah. Yeah, so you might want to go in and various? fix it. Yeah. Let's see. Various traffic control devices in construction and maintenance work areas are the color... Orange. Orange. Yeah, that's one of that's one of the colors I cannot see. Is it orange? Is... Colorblind? Yes, I am colorblind. I can't, can't see, see red, orange, or green. Huh. I had no idea. Okay, we'll have Jordan read this one. Where you should drive at or near the speed of freeway traffic at the legal speed limit, more slower than the freeway traffic, at or near the speed of the freeway traffic. Uh, yeah, I, that sounds right. Yeah, answered the question. Yeah, because, I mean, if you go slower, then you're disrupting the flow of traffic and that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want that. In very yeah. uh, terrible situation. I don't think there's really any speed limits right on the merge. Uh, you just have to go with the flow, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't need the speed. Yeah. All right, somebody read this one for me. All right, who wants to do it? Uh, let's get someone who hasn't read yet. I could do it. <laughs> Perfect. Tyler? Changing from one lane to another is best done quickly and often when a car is in your blind spot gradually and carefully um i you want me to answer it or do you want other people to answer it well what does everybody think i think the answer would be c because that sounds like the That's, most logical yeah i agree with do. that i think it's c i think it's gradually and carefully as well let me see. Changing from one lane to another is best done. Yeah. Because well, it yeah, sounds dangerous. Sure. It's like playing yeah, a gamble game. Or C, for sure. John. You wouldn't... John, this yeah. sounds like a dangerous gambling game. Yeah. It does. When a car is in your blind spot, <laughs> that's well, a great time crash. to change lanes. <laughs> I just admitted, John. Oh, I I just I just now uh, saw a mistake. One mistake. Yeah. What? How did we How did we get a mistake on nine? What is? Well, happening? was a mistake. What is yeah. happening? Yeah, boys. There, man. I don't know. Ah. Scroll down. You have made one error. What was the error? Oh. Which of the following one. statements is correct? <laughs> Use your left foot. How do I know? How did I know? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. John, it, did you click on the wrong one? Misclick. I did. So did I you... guess I've been doing it correctly this whole time. <laughs> you have been, yeah. What is happening? Why, why is that question? What? I don't know what happened there. I think I just clicked on the wrong yeah. one. Oh, why, is, why is the logic so messed up right now? Because it's raining, you read Nathan. Everything's it's raining. Up, so. Yeah, all the following practices are dangerous to be to do while driving. 
Which uh, of these is also illegal? Um, I believe the answer would be A, listening to music with both headphones. And yes. Yeah. You have to yeah, use the, um, the Bluetooth thing in the car. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yes. You can't just be like boom, boom, boom. Uh, <laughs> it is very, it's a very windy day. You are driving and a dust storm blows across the freeway, reducing your visibility. Nani. You should decrease your speed and turn on your... C, headlights. Yeah. Headlights. Headlights. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Jonathan. Good job. Good job, Jonathan. Woo! You did it, Jonathan. All you. <laughs> now this one's hilarious. <laughs> When you see this sign, you should stop and <laughs> check for vehicles only in the direction that you're planning on going. No. no. What? Yes. Let all vehicles that arrive before or after go first. No. Wow, that doesn't make sense. Check check for traffic in all directions before proceeding. C. Check up for traffic in all directions before proceeding. Yes, the latter is correct. It is illegal to leave a child age six or younger unattended in a vehicle on a hot day. A. Even if they are secured in a child passenger restraint system, they are supervised by a person 12 years of age or older only if the key is in the ignition. Wow. Uh, I think it's the first one. Wait, what? I think it would be the first one also. Yes. They're trying to trick yeah. you. Yeah. Because Never last... let them trick you. If you think everything else is really sounds like a little joke, then that means they have to tr try and trick you. <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't really like no, I'm being tricked a lot. So <laughs> my mom's did that to me. Uh, that's not my favorite to be tricked. Yeah. When driving in when driving in fog, it is best to drive with low beam. Mm -hmm. Low beam. Low beams. Low beams. Yeah. Definitely not your four way flashers. <laughs> <laughs> no. What are those things? I've never heard of a four way flasher. That's the um hazards. That's the hazards. Oh Ooh. yeah. This sign tells you that. No turns are allowed on the road. Nope. The road narrows ahead. There is a nope. series of curves ahead. I think yep. it's the third uh, one. See, there is serious <laughs> curves ahead. Yeah. I said nope to the other two. <laughs> You're like, nope. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> ah, boy, da. Let's go. Go to the next section. Go to the next section. Let's keep going, guys. Regulatory signs are green, uh, yellow, white. Uh, C, white. Huh? Regulatory. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. What do you think, Jonathan? Oh. <laughs> what? Regulatory signs are green, yellow, white. Uh, white? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I agree. I think they're white. When you see a flashing yellow light at an intersection, you should... Oops, I didn't mean to do <laughs> John, what are you doing? I've never Yield seen a flashing to all traffic. Yellow. I've only seen a flashing red. Yeah. Yield to all traffic before crossing the intersection. Stop. Then enter the intersection when it's safe to do so. Slow down and cross the intersection carefully. Um, uh, if I remember correctly, I think it would be... I want to say it would be B, reason why, is so because it also kind of acts like a stop sign. Hmm. Well, yellow light wouldn't be necessarily stopping. Uh, yellow light is kind of yield. Yeah, it's kind of like a be aware kind of thing. Yeah, slow. It's like it's telling you to slow down. That's what it's doing. Don't be a speed demon. Yeah. 
like in between the green and yeah, and the red, there's a yellow light. Saying there's, it's gonna be a red light soon. Oh, look at Nathan's finger. <laughs> oh boy, Nathan's finger. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds familiar. Don't poke your eye out. <laughs> You'll poke. Oh wait, no. Hi You'll John. Shoot your eye out. <laughs> Oh, you guys are funny. God, it was super funny. So, um, today me and Cl we were in Miss uh, Yvonne's class, and me and then Eleanor goes, Yvonne, and then me and Clack go, whoa, because <laughs> she scared. freaked us out. Cause she, <laughs> yeah, she freaked us out because she was super close to the camera like this, and like literally yeah. into the mic. That's <laughs> all right. Who wants to read this one? Nathan, you want to read this one? Yes. <laughs> Make room for cars are when, that are entering the freeway by blank, slowing slowing down, merging into a different lane, maintaining your speed and uh, position. Uh, mm. If I remember correctly, I think the answer would be B. Yeah, I think it's B as well. You want to... If you're going like long term on the freeway, you want to be like on the left. Yeah, uh huh. I would agree. What is the only medical proven method of removing alcohol or drug combinations from your system? Breathe in some fresh air, give your body time, drink coffee. Time. Ah. I think it's the second one. I think it would, I agree with Tyler. I think it would be. The I second. wish it was the third one. <laughs> <laughs> a coffee? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you love your coffee. Yeah. Give your body time. It's yeah. time. Everyone needs time to heal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when entering the interstate on a short. Uh, entrance ramp where there is no acceleration lane you should immediately enter the far right traffic lane on the interstate and speed up to match the flow of traffic use the shoulder of the main road to get up to speed on the tra in traffic speed up and enter the interstate only after you have identified a gap in the traffic yeah I think uh, this is the third one I think it would be uh, C also, because that sounds probably the most safe. Because you don't want to assume like we keep talking about, because you don't know what the person's going to do. So what was the answer, you guys? Uh, C, speed up and yeah. enter the in interstate only after you identify a gap in traffic. Huh. Well, that sounds right. Does it? But also, you... immediately enter the far right traffic lane on the interstate speed up. Oh, that hurt. Well, this this one says speed up in, uh, on the interstate only after you have identified a gap in traffic. Oh. You enter the oh. far right traffic lane on the interstate. I think I get it and now. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. Yeah, it's probably the first one. Okay, let's try A. That's kind of a trick question, though. Yeah. If you are being passed in a no passing zone, you should pull A, pull off the road, B, maintain your speed and position, slow down, and let the other driver safely return to drive uh... to the drive lane. I think the answer would be C. Yeah. Yeah. You mean you don't, wouldn't want to take revenge on him? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could, but what does that, what did that person ever do to you? And what does that accomplish? Nothing. Yeah, it's basically just. Uh, Can I explain something about that? Slaughter. <laughs> you want to make everyone safe at all times, no matter yeah. what, right? And, hey, John, can I say something about that? Yeah. So. This is when my dad um, was still working. Um, he had to travel to a certain place, and there's always this one person that always wanted to like 
they really wanted to pass you. And it's like, and my dad's like going like really fast, you know, and, <laughs> and by the way, I saw a few mistakes in that. Three yeah. errors. So, yeah, Three errors? What? You see a flashing yellow light at intersection, you should. Yeah, that. <laughs> That's not what I expected. What is that is the same thing, right? Yield to all traffic before crossing the intersection. Slow down and cross the intersection it's, carefully. It's basically the same thing. That's basically They're the same thing. Yeah. Um, when entering interstate, you start, okay. Well, this one is kind of confused. Speed up and enter the interstate. Okay. So I was correct. Aha. One, two. <laughs> What's the third one? Correct. Three errors. One, <laughs> two, three. Wait. Wait. Where's the third one? One. Twenty-three. Oh, it was two. Nine. Twenty-three errors. How come They're it says horrible. you made three errors? Hold on. Well, scroll down. Oh. Scroll down. Maybe there's an invisible one. Oh, it's because of the other one we made. Oh, it's adding the other mistake we made at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They add up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 36. Okay, let's get through this quick. Yeah. Right. Before you get kicked out of the Zoom. Yeah, if your vehicle has a mechanical <laughs> problem, signal and pull into the slow lane, stop in your lane and pull... I know Run your answer. hazard lights, put on your hazard lights, and pull off the side of the road. Yeah, it's that one. Yeah, third one. I agree this with you, Tyler. white sign means you may turn left only on a green arrow. No, may turn left on a green light when it's safe. Right? But must wait for a solid green light before you turn left. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Must wait for the solid green light before you turn left. May turn left on a green light when it's safe. I would say this one. Oh, you might be correct, John. Must wait for a solid green light. May turn left on a green light when it's safe. Must wait for the solid green light before you turn left. Uh. This is the same, right? These questions are the same. Or answer. They sound very samey. But are they the same? You turn left on a green light when it's safe. Um, I would um, do this one because it says solid green. Let's is turn. it just me or do you, are the rest of you also getting the timer saying remaining meeting? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I didn't get that. one yet. If you see orange construction signs in the cones on the freeway, you must slow down because the lane ends ahead. Be prepared for workers and equipment ahead. Change lanes and maintain your current speed. This one. Because we already went over this one, remember? Mm -hmm. yeah. You must stop at the intersection ahead. Just before the intersection, you have to cross railroad tracks. You should stop before crossing the railroad tracks when... There isn't room on the other side for to completely cross the tracks. The crossing is located in the city or town with frequent train. Your train. I think it's the first one. Yes. You may take a left I... turn on the red light only from a uh... one more street onto a two-way street. You may make a left turn on our red fire. I want to say it's the second one. Oh. Why would you make a left turn on a red light? That's That's right because right. in California you can turn on a red light. It's it kind of. Oh, really right. Make off. a left. Why would you make a left on a red light? Well, on a one way street, I think is what, what you would do that. One-way street onto two-way street. Okay. All right, we'll do that one. Streets and highways are mo more slippery when it has been raining hard for several hours. When they're clean and dry, just after it starts raining. 
just after it starts raining. Yep. Usually after I agree. the summer. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait, is Devin here? Are you under 18? Yes. Okay, good. What? Why is it asking me that? It's probably an ad. Oh, yeah, it's definitely an ad. 35. <laughs> they do this all the time. If you're driving on the freeway behind a large truck, you should drive B. farther behind the truck, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Jordan, I'm going to have you answer. Ask, read this one, okay? Miss Jordan, what happened to Jordan? Jordan? Know. What is that? What am I looking at? The advertisement? Looking at Jordan's screen. What happened to her computer? Oh, let me see. Oh, she probably put it somewhere where that way she cannot see it. Oh, yeah, she probably did. I don't know okay. if it was on purpose or something, but... Jonathan. Jonathan, why don't you try Jordan. texting her? I will, Anton, but... When you want to change lanes, you should never... What? A, move into another lane while within an intersection? Check your blind spot by looking over your shoulder? Check for other drivers moving into the same lane. I think uh, I one. Mm, well, Johnson, what do you think? I think it's this one, moving to another lane while within an intersection. Yeah, move it to another lane. Okay. This sign means you're approaching. How about this, Jonathan? This sign means you are approaching the end of a divided highway. You are approaching the beginning of a divided highway. The road will be slippery ahead. Which one? Slippery. Yep. Now, what is? What do you think this one says? Looks like you are. This looks like a divider here, right? Right. So you are approaching a beginning of a divided highway. You guys agree? Yeah, I agree. This is the last one, last couple. Which lane must you be in before making a left turn from a one-way street? The lane nearest to the center of the street? I think so. What do you guys think? Which one do you guys think? If you're making a left turn, you can't be in the right lane, right? Near the right yeah. curb. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. Uh, lane maybe. nearest to the curb. That maybe. just might not be a curb, right? So the Act. lane nearest to the center of the street, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you enter a designated turn lane to make a left turn on an in upcoming intersection. There is oncoming traffic. You should move to the left of the center lane. Signal before you arrive at the intersection. Turn your front wheels to the left. Be prepared to turn. What? Turn lane to make a left turn in an oncoming intersection. There is oncoming traffic. Uh, you should um, signal. Yes. 
Because I was I taught it was best to use the sig your signal to let people know what you're, um, what you're thinking. Yeah, I would agree. Last one. What does this road sign indicate? <clears throat> oh boy. Jonathan, what does this mean? What does this uh, sign mean? So what? Uh, Do you think it's a school zone? Uh, school zone. We only have a minute left. Yeah, a minute? Don't you mean two minutes? Um, actually, grade this section. Actually, Clyde, um, his he did he does not have the uh, professional side of Zoom. The lane nearest the, the lane nearest the center of the street. Oh, I thought I was finished at twelve thirty. That's kind of a trick one, right? Uh, John. Well, what is the difference? Yeah. Um, I'm going to say bye to you guys because it's going to cut you off. Okay. Okay. But uh, I'm sure Nathan, I'm sure Andrew, whatever you have to say, you're going to get cut off. But go ahead. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Free Zoom.